This is 2019 Amy 2 problem number 14 and here is a view of this number theory problem. So we would like to have 91 the largest number which cannot be written as a linear combination if you will of the numbers uh, 5 and and m plus 1 right so here x y and z are non-negative integers all right so and like i said 91 is the largest one so how can you combine the fives the ands the fives the ands and the n plus ones a bunch of them such that uh, 91 is the largest number that you cannot hit basically all right so obviously because 5 is one of your numbers uh, any multiple of 5 you can hit do you guys agree 10 you can hit just use two fives 5 plus 5 is 10 15 can be hit 5 plus 5 plus 5 okay so let's think about it so for instance if I use let's say n is equal to I don't know I don't want to pick a very big number uh, say 12 for instance is it possible to hit 91 let's try it so if n is equal to 12 it means n plus 1 is equal to 13 so what are the numbers that can be hit using these two numbers as well as fives so we have an unlimited supply of 12s 13s and fives <laughs> look at that the 5 12 13 um well anyhow which numbers can be hit well obviously starting with 12 i can keep adding fives to it so as a result i can definitely hit 17 and add 5 to it 22 27 all of these can easily be hit so therefore and the, the main idea of these numbers is any number uh, mod 2 is hit basically right all these numbers mod 5 sorry 2 mod 5 they are all hit well given that the number is more than 12 um, and the same thing for 13 so 18 is easily hit 23 is hit 28 is hit simply by using a single 13 and a bunch of fives adding a bunch of fives to it so meaning 3 mod 5, any number which is uh, congruent to 3 modulo 5, that can be hit easily as well. Uh, well, moreover, we can use now, instead of using a single 12 or a single 13, we can combine them. Interestingly, combining them is not useful, like if you combine just one of each. 12 plus 13 is 25. You could have already hit 25 by, by just using a bunch of 5s. But how about we combine two 12s? So then in that case, we can hit 24, interestingly, right? So I use two 12s, and then from there, I can keep adding 5s to it. So I can definitely hit 25, 34, 39. Now this list uh, uh, so it keeps going on. So these are all 4 mod 5. So uh, any number which is more than 24, and it's 4 mod 5, I can easily hit them. In a similar way, I can use two 13s, that will give me a 26, right? And keep adding fives to it. So 31 is hit, 36 is hit, and so on. Now this is worrisome because 91 is part of this list. And aha, uh -huh. so it will be hit eventually. So n cannot be 12 as a result. <laughs> okay, so do you guys see that? So, uh, well, I mean, I, I just tried one number just to see how, so not only, uh, 91 is hit obviously so there are two constraints in the problem I want to make sure 91 will not be hit and secondly it will be the largest one which is not hit so instead I need to be more organized I mean this is cool and everything the key idea that we learn from this problem is to just consider put all the numbers from one two three onwards all the positive integers into buckets one, uh, one mod five two mod five three and that's kind of I think the key uh, model if you will instead of organizing numbers in a line we can organize it nicely in a table which with five columns and and then repeatedly so for instance six would be here seven would be here eight nine ten and so on so for instance early on we tried 12 right so let's think about it for a, one more minute so just to make sure so we tried n equals 12 
and then m plus one necessarily is 13 and then we have a bunch of fives in our hand so do you guys agree that all the multiples of five will be hit so this column will all be gone so this is the first column is one mod five the second column is all the numbers two mod five 3 mod 5 and then 4 mod 5 right and I, I I put them in this table in increasing order so then what we said is once you have 12 12 plus 5 17 is also hit 22 is hit so as a result all these numbers are also taken care of you guys agree and the same thing here once 13 m plus 1 is 13 so all these numbers are taken care of so as a result what I'm worried about is these two columns now so so far I'm happy because 91 is part of this column and I want to make sure I'm not hitting it at all but suddenly earlier like we said if uh, apparently 13 uh, is 3 mod 5 so 2 times 13 which is 26 which will fall somewhere here is 1 mod 5 and once I hit 26 which is hit then 5 more than that 31 will be hit and so on. Eventually, I will be hitting all these numbers are hit. 91 will also be hit. Do you guys agree? So this is a good way to construct. Now I can go one layer further. Now that I, I think that I can organize my thinking around this table. Now I can consider uh, in a more abstract fashion. So uh, if a number is 1 mod 5, if n, I should say, if n is 1 mod 5, could it work? If n is 2 mod 5, could it work? And so on. Right, so let, let's quickly check that. And I think once you get the main table, the rest is pretty easy. So uh, like the, the main model, if you will. So I think we constructed the main model, which is thinking of it in terms of uh, numbers modulo five. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Six, seven, eight, I, okay, and so on. So uh, what if, okay, let's start thinking. What if N is, uh, 1 mod 5 then n plus 1 is 2 mod 5 necessarily we have these two numbers and we have a bunch of fives as many fives as we want as many ends as well first of all this will be a horrible idea right why because 91 is somewhere here in our list so even if you and and as a result 91 will definitely be hit why because all i do is i use a single n and then add a bunch of fives to it, m plus five, and ultimately I will hit 91, right? So I don't want that to happen. So if I, if n were to be, so if I, if there's a solution where n is congruent to one mod five, it better be more than 91. And probably the next number, right? So 96, for instance, if n were 96 mod five, okay, so n can definitely not be um, less than 91 and be, uh, uh, so uh, and be one mod five. What if n is exactly ninety six? So then m plus one would be over here, which is ninety seven. What's wrong with that? Well, so meaning I I want to use five ninety six and ninety seven. Well, sure, ninety one won't be hit, which is good news. Ninety one is not hit, is not hit. However, the bad news is 91, by the constraints of the problem, has got to be the largest one not hit. And I can easily find a number which is more than 91, which is not hit. And what is it? <laughs> it's 92, right? <laughs> 92 is larger than 91, and yet it is not hit either. Not, oops, not hit. Aha! So as a result, so 92 is somewhere here. Of course it's not hit. All the numbers, multiples of 5 are already hit. 96 onwards are hit. 97 are hit. But 92, yeah, not hit. So not good. So as a result, there is no solution where n is congruent to 1 mod 5. Move on. What about n? Could n be congruent to 2 mod 5? Well, let's check. And if it is, then what is it, right? So... Okay, so again, just construct the table. I think from here it is very straightforward. Um, okay, so I'm just actually having fun constructing these tables, I guess. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, da da da. Okay, so I'm not concerned. The only number that I'm concerned, I'm laser focused, is 91, right? I want to make sure no one hits 91, and I want to make sure somebody hits 96, right? <laughs> they have to hit 96 for sure. Okay, so what about n is congruent to 2 mod 5? Necessarily n plus 1 is here. Well, 5, n, and n plus 1, where n is 2 mod 5 here. Well, uh, 
n plus 5, n plus 10, all of these numbers would be hit. All the multiples of 5 are already hit. n plus 1 and n plus 5 to it, n plus 6, n plus 11, they are all hit because you can just combine n plus 1 with a, f a bunch of 5s. So therefore, still I have two columns which are not hit this column and this column which is nice so uh, and as a result now I start thinking about how about 2n right so I am by just using a single n and a single n plus one these are all that I can cover namely these numbers here here and all these numbers well 2n would be because n is 2 mod 5 2n would be 4 mod 5 it will be somewhere here um, and as a result because 2n is hit 2n plus 5 will be hit after that for sure, and any number after that will definitely be hit. Do you guys agree? Uh, how about 2n plus 2? Well, 2n plus 2, interestingly, would be here, which is, again, seems like a problem, right? Because if 2n plus 2 happens to be less than 91, and obviously if n plus 1 is 3 mod 5, obviously, 2n plus 2 will end up being 1 mod 5. So 2n plus 2, I cannot put it less than 91 right because i can keep adding 5 to it and eventually i will hit 90, 91 what if 2n plus 2 i make it exactly equal to 96 aha uh -huh. so then that might work actually because so far we cleaned all the multiples of 5 2n is here all the uh, 4 mod 5s are hit 3 mod 5s are hit uh, 2 mod 5s are hit. 2n plus 2 will be the largest among them. I'm setting it equal to 96. From here, n will be equal to 94, 47, right? And that's it. That seems that it is gonna work, right? It is working, actually. Uh, well, if you guys want, you can convince yourself by just plugging in uh, 47 here, just to make sure that you're not... Uh, uh, dreaming so 47 48 and 5 right so we are using 47 48 and 5 let's quickly check well uh 47 onwards meaning uh actually let me write them down i guess if i'm hitting 47 obviously because one of them is 47 then 52 is hit 57 is hit and so on 62 is hit i'm not worried about any of these numbers and 48 is hit meaning 53 is hit 58 all gone Perfect. 47 times 2 is 94, and onwards, oh well, 94 is somewhere there. Okay, so on this row, right, 94. 94 is hit, as well as any number greater than it, which is 4 mod 5. They're all gone. And finally, 48 times 2 is 96. 96 is hit. And any number, so 101 necessarily is hit, and all these numbers. Hey, the last number standing would be 91. Do you guys agree? Uh, the, the number after that, which is still standing, is this guy, right? 89. And then, uh, what's this number? 86. But 91 is decidedly the largest number, which is not hit. And that happens when n is equal to 47. So n congruent to 2 has a solution. Namely, n is equal to 47 works. So n congruent to 1 doesn't work. n congruent to 2 works. Let's check n congruent to 3. Uh, you might think, hey, is, this looks very annoying. Well, I'm having fun, like I said. So it's just once you build a successful model, it's just a matter of a couple of minutes thinking. Uh, but now I can be very fast, right? So Because now that we have built our model, everyone has played with it in, for a while. Uh, six, seven, and, and so on. Okay, so uh, the numbers that we have is n is congruent to 3 mod 5. Necessarily n plus 1 is here. So we have these three numbers. So any combination, linear combination of these three numbers. Well, obviously, again, all the multiples of 5 are hit. Don't worry about that. n plus 1 and keep adding 5 to it. So 4 mod 5 greater than n plus 1. They're all hit. All these numbers are hit. So far, this is promising because 91 is not hit yet. But I want to make sure 91 is the largest number not hit, right? So uh, how about 2n? Well, n is congruent to 3. 2n will be congruent to uh, 1 mod 5. Aha! So I can't make it less than 91. I learned my lesson. It has to be exactly 96, if anything, right? So as a result, n equals 48 looks promising. But then there's a problem. Do you guys see what the problem is? If we were to use these three numbers, uh, well, who... Um, if you multiply, who will hit basically this column? <laughs> 2 mod 5, right? <laughs> That's the main question. Um, well, you might think 2n plus 2. Well, 2n plus 2n was 96. 2n plus 2 is 98, which is already hit by earlier number, right? Um, well, then you can try 3n plus 
3 and so on. But this will be decidedly, I think 3m plus 3 way over there, right? 3m plus 3 is equal to what? Uh, 144, 147. <laughs> so 147 will be hit, but uh, 5 less than that, 142 will not be hit. Aha! And 142 is decidedly greater than 96. So uh, 91, I should say. 96 is already hit by 2n. So that's not gonna work either. Do you guys see that? So uh, we have only 2 left n could be 4 mod 5 or n could be 5 mod 5, right? Let's quickly check those two cases as well, which, uh, like I said, so it's now just a matter of simple practice. Uh, and so far we have only one solution, n congruent to 2, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, da, da, da. Okay, so uh, now we are testing n is congruent to 4 mod 5 somewhere here. And again, I, I, okay, so n plus 1 is there, and I'm laser focused on 91. I want to make sure I'm not mistakenly hitting it, right? So, uh, well, if n is there, uh, what can I do? Well, because n is here, n plus 1 is here, and 5 is here, obviously anything multiple of 5 is already hit. Anything more than n and congruent to 4 mod 5 is already hit. So now I need to start checking. These three columns are still intact. How about... 2n now, right? 2n will definitely, if n is congruent to 4 mod 5 or minus 1 mod 5, 2n will be congruent to minus 2 mod 5 or 3 mod 5. As a result, all of these will be hit, which is good news. I still have these two columns intact. So 1 mod 5 and 2. So as a result, I, I, I would probably think about 3n. You might wonder, hey, why didn't I think about 2n plus 2? Well, n plus 1 is a multiple of 5, 2n plus 2 will also be a multiple of 5. It's no use to use n plus 1 is redundant. So 3n is there, it will destroy all of it. So if I'm smart and I set 4n congruent exactly equal to 96, I think I have a, uh, I, have a I, have, I am not a home run, I have a home run, right? So 96 will be hit and it will be the last... Uh, so 96 will be hit, and as a result, 91 will be the last guy standing, right? Well, obviously, uh, 86 is also standing, but it's less than 91. And um, 4n, so as a result, n is equal to 24, definitely works, right? 72, so here, uh, 67 also still standing, but 72 upwards is all hit. Um, anything mod 2, which is greater than 72, is hit. So, so far, I have two solutions, 24 and 47. Lastly, quickly check... Uh, Quickly check n is congruent n is uh, congruent to zero mod five, right? So that's the only thing we which we didn't check yet. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting this video to be that long. Sorry for that. Four, five, and so on. Six, seven, eight. Da da da. All right. So uh, the two numbers that I'm utilizing here are if n is here, n plus one will be in the next row, right? Somewhere there. Uh, and obviously, I, I want to make sure I'm not mistakenly destroying uh, 91 here. Oh, but if n is here, n plus 1 will be here. It will definitely destroy 91. So if anything, I have to set, uh, because I want 91 to be the last guy standing, I have to set n exactly 95, I guess, right? So this way, n plus 1 will be 96. Do you guys agree? That's pretty much the only way this case would work. So... Uh, set n is equal to 95, n plus 1 necessarily is 96. As a result, 91 is still standing, <laughs> but the same thing, right? By just using 5, 95 and 96, it's good that we are not hitting 91, but we can't hit 92 either. How in the world using 5s, 95s and 96s can you hit 92? Unless you use a linear combination where your coefficients are negative, right? Which we are not allowed. Um, and that's it. So as a result, the two, uh, what is it? The two uh, solutions are n is equal to 24 and 47. You add them up, what's it, 71? So 71 should be the answer. Squeeze in a zero in the front. Uh, it's an Amy problem. So um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and looking forward to see you guys in another lecture.